Hi, I'm John Davis with Artograph, and I'm here to demonstrate our new LED 200 digital art projector. As you may know, projectors have been around for thousands of years as a tool for artists, but really the technology has remained the same. You've had a light source, a mirror, and a lens to project the image. Now with this projector, we are moving into the digital age. This now allows an artist to use any digital format and plug it into the projector and then use that as their projection source for their painting. I'll get into some of the features that this projector has and show you really what a useful, valuable tool it is for an artist. What an artist can do now is take a picture with their digital camera and take that SD card, put it into an SD card reader, or put it on a USB flash drive and plug that straight into the projector. You do not need to run this through a computer. You can run it straight uh, through the USB port. If an artist was going to use some pictures, they would plug in, in this case I'm running off a USB flash drive, and you would have your photo list of all the images that are on your USB drive. Here, as you can see here, is a list of the various pictures that are on here. So there's a picture of balloons that I want to use for my painting. And there again, straight from a digital source, there's your projection. You can remove the toolbar there, and you have a nice, clean, crisp image. You can also go back then and run your pictures as a slideshow. You can go through, pick your image, and then hit slideshow, and it'll run through all the images that are on the USB flash drive. At any time, you can stop your slideshow, and again, use that picture for your artwork. The pictures, when you're using it on a USB drive, uh, need to be JPEG images. If you do have other digital sources, a uh, computer program like Photoshop or Photo Editor can convert them into JPEGs then for use on a USB drive. And we'll get into some of the other features that this projector can do. Let's say you have a digital movie that you want to use and you want shots from that to be your source for your painting. You can put a digital movie on the USB drive, call up that movie, and then play. And what this allows you to do is to stop that movie at any point if you want to use that image for your, for your painting. Or let's say you want to take a, uh, pictures of a flock of geese taking off, and you're not sure exactly at what point you want to stop that. Instead of taking a series of digital pictures, you can just take a digital movie and then stop at the exact scene that you want to do. The projector also will play music. If you have uh, some music files you want to put on here and listen to music while you create your artwork, it does do that. This has two one-watt speakers and also has a wireless FM transmitter that can transmit the sound to a surround sound. Now let's get into some of the other features that uh, an artist would really find useful with this projector. One of the main features that we have on here that are proprietary to this projector are a series of grids that an artist would use to help uh, in the composition of their, of their painting or their artwork. There's actually six of them that you can preview in the small window there. And you can use any one of these as a grid just by themselves. And for example, I'll choose this one of straight lines. And there projects the lines on your wall or on your canvas. The other thing you can do, though, is you can take and superimpose the uh, grids right over a picture. For example, we'll take that same grid of the lines and then go back to the USB source. And then when you hide the toolbar down below, it drops in the grids right over the picture. Again, this will help in the composition of your artwork. So this can be used, any of the six grids, again, can be used alone or can be uh, used to drop on any of the paintings. Another feature that this uh, projector has is the ability to adjust the keystoning. And that means to keep the, the picture uh, at a perfect 90 degree. And this is useful if you have to project, say, up uh, if the source that you're showing your projector, the canvas is up higher than your projector, you can move the keystoning to, again, make sure you have a nice square true image. You can tilt it forward or backward doing the keystone adjustment. Another feature that we have here that artists use is the ability to turn a color picture to black and white. 
And a lot of artists prefer to work off of a black or white because you see the contrast better, you see the tonal qualities of the picture better rather than being obscured by the color in the picture. Another feature you can do is to change the direction of the projection. As you can see on the top of the screen, this is in front mode, meaning the way you're viewing this screen, uh, the lettering is correct. But let's say you want to uh, be behind your painting and have the projector show through, say, a watercolor uh, paper. You can flip it to rear projection, and now shining through your material, through your canvas, you will be looking at it correctly from the backside. Again, this covers some of the basic features of this projector that really is a valuable tool to help you uh, work in your artwork. When you get your uh, LED 200 digital art projector, there are some accessories that we do include with the package. One is a um, storage bag that comes with it that will store the projector and the cables that, that are supplied with it. We do supply an RGB cable to hook this up to a computer. And when you hook it up to a computer, the projector really becomes a second monitor. So you can, any image that you're viewing through your computer, if it's not a JPEG, um, it doesn't have to be a JPEG to show if you're using it through a computer. Um, we also supply a uh, SD card reader that reads five different sizes of SD cards. So again, you can take your digital image, take your SD card out of your camera, plug it into the SD card reader, and then you're set to go with your projection. This does work with uh, most any type of computer, works with PCs. It does work with all the line of Apple computers. Um, you need to buy a mini DVI cable to work with that. But again, this will work through uh, basically any type of uh, PC or Mac product. So again, this is a very versatile projector. It has a lot of tools that an uh, artist would uh, find very valuable to use. Um, as you can see, we're showing it here on a mobile floor stand. There is an optional tripod that is available. Uh, the projector does have a quarter 20 mount that will mount on any uh, standard camera projector. And that is handy if you want to, say, project uh, downward onto a surface or um, any other application where you want it on a tripod to move around. Again, I'm John Davis with Artograph, and I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the many features and benefits of the digital art projector. And I'm sure that when you get your projector, you'll be amazed at all the different versatile things it can do for you. Have fun and enjoy your art.